right here. Three daily vlogs if you like this video. Come back I don't tomorrow. think it's afternoon yet. It's not. Good late morning. Yeah, we're at the park in the morning. We're at Epcot. You know, it's a good start to the day when we are in the DVC lounge getting me a nice cup of joe to start up our World Showcase holiday adventure. All right. It's crazy how good it feels to be back in the humidity and I have a little sweat going on. It just feels feels right. But gotta show you guys in a second. I keep forgetting that like, even though Christmas is over, New Year's Eve is Tuesday. Yeah, did we say we're here because it's the last day of Festival of the Holidays? We said yesterday. So today we're here because it's the very last day of Festival of the Holidays. We're gonna soak it as much in as much as we can. And if you guys have been watching us for the past two years, at least you guys know, we've been kind of sticking to the same routine. For New Year's, we try to do the Polynesian Shore on the 30th to watch the dry run of the Magic Kingdom fireworks. And then we come here on the 31st because it's just a rip-roaring good time. And you can kind of see behind me, I don't know if that looks like a speaker covered it up. And over here, there's like a mini stage and stuff, which I was not there last year, but Epcot gets we a bunch of- we weren't here all night last year, so we really soak it all in. <laughs> <laughs> we walked into the park right as the countdown started. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, so that is our plan, but we got a times guide today to try and catch some of the like storytellers of the holidays around the world. Just we gotta try to get a few in before they're all gone. Yeah. Alright, we're running into Mexico because if you didn't know, Neil Patrick Harris, one of our favorite people, is a huge Disney fan. Yeah. Huge Disney World fan. Yeah, and he um they just named a margarita at La Cava. The premieres today. Him. Was it today? I think it was today. I'm like in a time warp back that road you can. It was either yesterday or today, and I think it was today. Let's go check it and see what it is. I might get it, even though it's I'm... It's called like a black magic, because he's like... Loves he's like, magic. Yeah. He likes magician or magicieries, magicians, magic magi's. magis. So we're at the bar inside. And it did start yesterday. I'm making a proud air hearts. I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> they have a huge, huge menu. I think a lot of it is on the app, though, if you're ever interested. Please leave a comment down below at what age my inside mind is for the fact that I have a hot cup of coffee and a margarita that I'm double fisting. <laughs> um, Neil Patrick Harris had posted that if you were one of the first people that you would get like a surprise gift. So a lot of people must have gotten it because there was no surprise. Well, I think the cast member said it was yesterday oh, that, so that they came were out. Just doing that yesterday. Either way, it's really good. I'm not a big margarita fan or tequila fan, but the the black cherry mm. mixed with the margarita actually works really well together. And I probably I'd get it again. I think yeah. that that in the That's a mint in this and the avocado margaritas are the two margaritas that I actually enjoyed it to drink. So, way to go, Neil Patrick Harris. And he has his own little logo on the menu. It is a heavy, misty, rainy started just now, but it feels good. It's nothing compared to the last rain that we had when we were in this park. So, we're gonna stay strong and just trudge through it. Yeah, I wanna see the Norway storyteller. It's in like a half hour, so. Just gonna yeah. Peter just said, we've never seen a girl band here. Just the one girl singer. Got soggy out. <laughs> It'll pass. Look, it's already lighting up. Yeah. Florida. We spoke too soon. It started downpouring. We were hoping to be at Norway for the 12:45 holiday show, but it's pouring out. And we don't know if it's gonna go. It's got 10 minutes to clear up. I have a Norway rain jacket. I could be wearing right now. And I, and I have Tiva so that I could be wearing, but instead I'm wearing these soggy flip flops. It happens. Did not learn. <laughs> we never do. <laughs> we never do. With six minutes to spare, the rain has completely stopped and there's blue in the sky. It's still cloudy, but there's just blue in the sky. There's a little bit of moisture on the stage, but yeah, I don't, we'll see. I don't, if anything, we'll just read the little scroll yeah. and we'll be happy. 
Hello, feel free to join us for a holiday story. Hello. Here's a little bit of a Christmas carol sung by children of all ages. The mouse song, Musa Bisa. When nights are getting longer and lakes will freeze to ice, Mother Mouse won't strongly about to foul the vice. We must avoid the mouse trap, but there is not to fear. We'll all be celebrating at Christmas time this year. A merry Christmas season is good for me and you. Hey, song, the hop, song, the fun, la 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 la. A newly curly mascot on the song of our regard. Allow me to take advantage of Seagree's uh, dramatic pause here to properly introduce myself. I am the legendary Barn Santa. A two, a three. <laughs> now you know all about the holidays on Norway's farms. And I'm so sorry to push you above a long old gnome thing, but he does not exist! <gasps> it's you! It's me! It's him! I'm him! The Bark Santa! Go you! Oh. Oh. We did it! We made a believer out of the lovely Seagree after all. I couldn't have done it without all your help, so I hereby dub you all honorary Christmas magic makers for the rest of the day. We got soggy feet. That, since our college program, I've been trying to see that, and it's never happened until today, and now I know the story, and I'm so happy. We have approximately four minutes to get over to the America Pavilion to see the Voice of the Liberty without messing up too much of our plans today, so we're going to try to make it there. You know, you know we can walk with paint. Yes, but with soggy <laughs> feet, it makes it a little bit more difficult, but we can do our best. We want to welcome you to our home, the American Adventure. There are many people all over the world right now celebrating the Festival of Lights for Hanukkah. One for each night they will share sweet light to remind us of days on the go. Does anybody else think they should just do that version of Voice of Liberty once a month? Like one weekend every month. I think that would solve world hunger, all the wars, everything. Also, I just want to go in Club 33. That's where we're going. We're, going. we're, we're not. Going. She's lying. But I wish it were the truth. So we're in the America gift shop and it's currently an art of Disney. I'm thinking because the one in the front is not open. I mean, of course I like it, but it's definitely weird. There's so much art from the World Showcase. Oh. All right, I just spotted this. I honestly think we might need this. Maybe not this year, but maybe next year. It is the cutest Santa and cutest Mickey in Christmas pajamas handing Santa milk and cookies and he's got it and he's got a gift with Mickey's name on it and it's all detail. $80 for that set, that is possible dreams department. That is adorable. Our favorite performer in all of Epcot. But we got we got things to see. So we can't hang out. Here we go. But he's the best. I didn't I had to hear him say it once. Then we'll walk. That was the longest intro I've ever experienced in my entire life. If we weren't in a time crunch, 
We'd I've, stay for hours. They didn't even play the song I wanted to play, but hopefully they will. Yeah, I'm sure they will. But we have to go listen to the story of Hanukkah. We're about to get the one item on the, all of the holiday menus that we are able to eat. And that is the in the entire festival of the holidays. And that is the black and white cookie um, from the holiday kitchen, the Hanukkah holiday kitchen. Yeah, two fifty. Yeah, that's a big old cookie for two fifty. It's slimy, but it's not. Oh, it's a little slimy. Haven't eaten on our favorite table in a long time, even if it's soaking wet. Yummy, guys. Most Dense. most holiday cookies we are not able to eat, so this is this is perfect. If you know it, feel free to sing along. Hava, Nagila, Hava, Nagila, Hava, Nagila, Vedismecha. Shalom, everyone. My name is Zachary, and I am so sorry to have to say that because of the rain, I am going to have to go back inside. Look at him go, look at him run, look at him run, look at him run. Oh, and it's starting to, it's starting to come down. <laughs> I was not well, expecting that. We got one song, so. Princess Aurora leaving with her beautiful yellow. Umbrella. She doesn't even care. Look at her frolicking. She doesn't care it's raining. Where are we going? I don't know. Should we run to UK? So let's go to the UK. Because we can try to find, like, if this if this stops, we can try to catch a Father Christmas? Yeah. All right, we need to get inside, but they got this set up for Tuesday night, too, for Party Central. All right, the rain has stopped again. Hopefully for good, but now with, yeah, the, now with today's... There's more Cubs fans. Characters and tenants are out. We're heading over to France because Père Noël is starting in two minutes. And we gotta get more joy. It's so cute all in. Yeah. This is our Christmas day. Like, this is the two of us. Yes. I look forward to La Vie de Petit Jésus and a visit from you. Well, whether they come from in Provence, these statues will make for the nativity or some include people from your village. The baker, the priest. Do you believe in Pamuel? Yes. Do you believe in Christmas? Yes. Yeah. Can say with me, Merry Christmas in the language of my country. It is Joyeux Noël. Oh, good. Wow. Joyeux Noël. All right, we ran over to China. A light sleeper, the lion is wide awake now and continues dancing. Fast past time. Oh. Oh. What? Did you plan that? I did and did not at the same time. It has a DVC launch on it. Does it? Oh, it does. So I, we've told the story before, but this is actually from a coworker, old coworker of mine. His dad used to work at the beach club back in the day, and he like had boxes of like unopened stuff from the 80s. Yeah, like and vintage. He brought it to work one day. I was like, do you want these? And I grabbed a couple of shorts that were just like really nice. Well, I forgot what company, but nice quality shorts. And I saw this shirt and I was like, yes. This is from the 80s. Love it. You didn't see Jenna and Bill. But they were there. But they were there. We were just busy chit-chatting away like crazy. Yeah, we did a loop around. Me and Jenna put, like, took our standard troll picture. Christina, we missed you. I'll put the picture in here. We um, grabbed um, some drinks at Rose and Crown. Oh, we also went to the DVC. DVC lounge. We saw Sue. If you ever in the DVC lounge, say hi to Sue. She's the best. Yeah. 
So we had a good visit. We'll probably be with them tomorrow night um, for Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Fake New Year's Eve fireworks. But now we're gonna go grab dinner and go home. This is like our last little like Arrive break vacation. from reality. Like we're gonna get some dinner and then tomorrow. Groceries. I mean, even though the holidays this week, so like how real life will this right, be? Right, but we'll be more back to like grocery shopping, grocery shopping and laundry and work and those things. No fun. It's lots of fun. It's just a different fun. fun. Yeah. So we're at District at the Mills. I got barbecue, pork, mac and cheese. Peter got an Italian wrap with mac and cheese in it, all kinds of peppers and some chips. Our last hurrah. It's 8.42. I'm finally editing the vlog and educating Peter on one of the most cinematic masterpieces of our time. Our time? This was your time? Yeah. This came out nine years before you were born. <laughs> He, do, he doesn't even know what happened. He doesn't even know the concept. I have no idea what this movie is about. I know it's about a little bit of a girl. You will find so many things I quote are from this movie. Well, buckle up. Took you eleven years. Peter, what is your review of Annie? One of the best movies I've ever seen. Right? It was so good. The music is so good. The story, the movie, the music, the acting. Mm. Eve loves it too. Evers is giving me smooches. We're not ready for the weekend top people. Alright, so we accidentally read the 29th yesterday. So we'll read the 28th by Bradley Whitford. Infuse your life with action. Don't wait for it to happen. Make it happen. Make your own future. Make your own hope. Make your own love. And whenever your beliefs honor your creator, not by passively waiting for grace to come down upon your high, but by doing what you can to make your grace happen. Yourself, right now, right down on earth, Bradley Whitford. All right, I think I need to take that advice more because still riding the struggle bus. Look, I got new pots and pans. Yes. Ceramic new pots and pans from yeah. Sue for Christmas. There, there's no chemicals One, in there. two, three, four, five, six. Three, two pans, three pots, and this skillet pan. Yeah. What, what was the message was about what? Like taking your life in your own hands. Yeah. Not waiting for grace to be thrown upon you. Yeah. Today was a good day though, right? Mm -hmm. Felt good. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>